Hmm? Okay, this is the water sucking from the river. Just a little bit now. All right, that that right field is no water at all, and they made a drum pump here. So let's see how they install the drum pump and how it works. Everyone, as you can, as you see, a lot of drum pump that I have put into this channel, but in this one it a little bit different. So this is the right field and the water is no it's really empty that one and okay so let's see how they install this is the what they call empty pie cloth pie this is to, to reuse the water returning back uh, the bubble returning back from the last output so the water when the bubble come back this one will stop will stop the air to the drum and another pressure drum is here so this is very it's working very hard this one because it will suck suck the the water from that drum and that drum make press that drum just makes pressings the water and the intake water from the river over here you can see the wild checks the wild checks from the last food valve that one so the water is never returned to the river it just stay here and when the air sucking so the, the water just flow this one dropping into the drum and as you can see this is the way that we fill in the water at the first time and this one is the the air pipe when they fill in the water at the first time by that way so the air will just go through this way so this one I put wall, master wall, when we fill in the water, we have to close that one. And this is the air pressure drum. Okay, so it's easy to understand how it's working. Easy, really easy to understand. But everyone can do or not, it's depending on you. If it depending on the water level if it's too high or too deep it won't work it's hard to do if too deep but as this level it's a little bit different from the river and from the from the right field so it is not very hard to do because just suck a little bit and the water is come up everybody I got the most question that why we put the water intakes water pipe is smaller than the output water pipe over here but actually at the end of the output water pipe is the same size with the intakes water pipe it's 34 millimeter the same but we put this one is 60 millimeter because we want the water stay inside the the pipe more much more water and it will heavier so it make gravity it just suck the water from the drum like this so we make it long and big so the water is very heavy so it can draw the water from the river by smaller pipe here into the drum this is the reason we put long and big output water pipe so everyone should understand about the uh, like a uh, method of the scale when the other side is heavier so it will draw the water from the other side so intake is smaller and shorter and i put is bigger and longer and heavier so it draw the water from the intake water pipe into the drum and it will work 24 hours a day seven day a week okay thank you very much for your watching our video and hope you understand about the drum pump thank you very much next day it will fulfill after water in this right field.